Hey guys, so today I'm just going to be doing the flip over Fulani slash tribal braids. So what are you going to need are the 3-in-1 packs of the pre-stretch braiding care and I grabbed 3 of those. So the Organique Beach Curl and I use this because the crochet I wanted, they didn't have my color. So I recommend crochet but they just didn't have my color. This is just the parting of the back and this is where we're going to do the knot list with the curly pieces. And next I'm just going to mix in my colors just to get that desired um, look and color that matches my hair. To get these curly pieces, I'm just going to use a razor and just cut them off. And the reason that I say crochet is better because you don't really have to do all this. You just braid the hair in. So we're just going to do um, some knot lists, you know, you just braid a little bit, at least one or two or three braids. And then you're going to take your hair and you're going to feed it in in between into that middle piece and that top left piece. And you're just going to braid like normal. And you're just going to keep doing this until you get the, the width that you want and how thick you want it to be. Hey, I get it, I'm on your side. And so for the curly piece, I'm just going to feed that into the middle and then secure it at the top with a, um, a clip or anything. And then you're just going to braid. So next we have the parting of the front and so we have three sections total and so starting on one of those sections we're going to have three triangle parts and it's just going to be regular knot list. <music> And then we're going to take out another section. This is just going to be scalp braids towards the back. And what I like to do is I like to section out the pieces that I'm going to grab as I scalp braid because it's so hard to scalp braid on yourself and to make it neat. So once I have all the pieces that I want to section, I'm just going to braid that front one or two, one, one to three times. 
and then I'm going to start feeding it in into the middle braid and so you just pick it up and feed it in and I think this is like the easiest way to do it because doing it on yourself you guys it's, it's just hard trying to get the comb or use your fingers to make those sections to pull in the hair so this is just easier to me Once I reach the back, I'm going to start feeding in the Canicolon hair. This is just to make it look like the regular knotless and match the other ones. So next we're going to have two sections and one section is going to be bigger than the other. Using the bigger section we're going to create that into two more sections and then we're going to split it in half and this is going to be our crisscross so we're going to take the opposites and braid. So I just do the same method with this and I just pick up the hair and braid. And once I finish um, that section, I keep braiding until it's enough hair to reach to the other section and then you grab the other section here and then you just braid and this is what creates that crisscross look And then for that last section, we're just gonna do some more triangle parts. And you're gonna repeat that for the other side. And so for this middle section, it's just gonna be slanted straight backs. And yeah. going to start curling the ends and so make sure you guys section out that curly pieces of hair because you don't want to dip those in the hot water because it's going to turn straight and we're just going to use a flexi rod and so you're going to use the same mannerisms as a bantu knot so you're twisting as you're wrapping and yeah, this is just going to give us that more natural curl look. So after dipping them in some hot water, your curls should be looking like this. Just going to oil and 
use some mousse just to get everything nice and fresh looking. <laughs> finished results let me know what you guys think let me know what you think i could improve on any tips and tricks when braiding hair yeah <laughs>